All right, so in five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to build a dialogue system like this. It's definitely pretty shallow and not pretty, but it's functional. There's no gourmet meal happening here. This is fast food. But the clock's ticking, so let's get into it. So I have a brand new empty Unity project here. And the first thing we wanna do is right click in our hierarchy and go down to UI. And we wanna add in a panel. This panel is gonna be our dialogue box. So we can go ahead and name it such. And then before we do anything, let's click on our canvas first and configure that. We'll go down to the canvas scaler and set UI scale mode to scale with screen size. You can set the X and Y values to 3820 by 2160 if you're targeting 4K or 1920 by 1080 if you're targeting HD, which is what I'll be doing. Then we'll click back to our dialog box. Now you don't even have to use the dialog box or you can make it look however you want. But what I'm gonna do is go down to the color here and make the opacity 100%. And then in the inspector, I'm just gonna fill in some rec values I was playing with before, but we'll be doing 100 for the left, 500 for the top, 100 for the right, and 100 from the bottom. And it should look something like a dialog box by the time you're done filling that out. We can then right click on dialog box and go down to UI. And we're gonna use text, text mesh pro, which is a much more high quality text object. And it'll ask us here if we want to import the essentials, which we do. So we'll press import. Once that's done importing the essentials, we can click on our text object that has been created. We'll come down here to vertex color and open it up. And I'm just gonna make the color black. We can set it to bold. And I'm gonna up the font size to something like 70. And then once again, we're gonna change the rect values in the inspector. So I'm just gonna set the width and height to 1500 by 300. With those values in the scene editor, you'll see the text box itself fit nice and snug within the dialog box. We can now come down to the projects tab and right click on assets and go to create C sharp script. And I'm gonna call this dialog. Let's drag the dialog script onto the dialog box and then double click the script to open it up. All right, so first things first in the script, at the top of this page, let's add a using statement. So using TM Pro, this is to make sure we can reference this text mesh pro component. And we'll go ahead and start with all the variables we're gonna need for this script. So the first thing, like we just mentioned, we need a reference to our text mesh pro component. So we'll say public text mesh pro UGUI, and I'll call this text component. We then need a collection of different sentences or lines of dialogue we wanna display. I'm just gonna use a string array for simplicity. So I'll say public string open close square brackets, and I'm gonna call this lines. We're also gonna type out each character at a specific speed. So we need to capture that speed. So we'll say public float text speed. And then finally, we just need like a private index to track where we are within the conversation. So we'll say private int index. So let's go ahead and do this. Underneath the start and update methods, we'll go ahead and make a new method called void start dialog. And in here, we just want to set our index equal to zero. For now, let's just leave it at that. Let's go ahead and create a coroutine under this. The syntax for this is a little different. So we'll say i enumerator as the return type. And we'll call this type line. And so in here, what we're trying to do is we're gonna type out each character one by one. So we can simply say for each car for character in our lines collection of the current index. And then we'll say dot to car array. So what this says, it takes the string and then breaks that down into a character array. We simply wanna say text component dot text plus equals C. And with that, we wanna say yield return new wait for seconds. And then we wanna pass in the text speed. Back in start dialog, underneath index equals zero, let's say start coroutine. And then for an argument, we'll pass in type line, which is the method we just created. And then in our start method, what we wanna do is say text component dot text equals string dot empty. And then we just wanna call our start dialog method. And at this point, if you go into Unity and select your dialog box, let's drag in our text object into the text component. We can set the text speed to something like 0.3, and then we can open up the lines collection, and I'll set the size to something like two. So then when we start the game, you can see that it's typing it out character by character, but we don't have any way to move to the next line of dialogue. So let's work on that now. Let's create a new method called void next line. And we can say if index is less than our lines.length minus one because it's an array. We can say index plus plus and then set the text component dot text equal to string dot empty. And we'll say start coroutine of type line. Else if we don't have anything else to say in our dialogue, we can just set the game object for now to inactive. So we'll say game object dot set active false. We can then go up to our update method. What we're gonna say is if input dot get mouse button down, and then we'll pass in zero for the left mouse button. If our text component dot text is equal to our lines at the index, then we just wanna to proceed to the next line. Otherwise, if it's not equal, we wanna stop all coroutines and we wanna set our text component dot text equal to our lines index. So this will get the current line and just instantly fill it out. 
And so now we can see when we play it, we can click and it instantly fills out the messaging. We can click again to proceed to the next line. And when the dialogue's finished, we can click and it closes the dialogue box. Thank you.